This is the spirit of ecstasy giving you thoughts of joy and uplift and inspiration to help you to have uh, enthusiasm for your job and uh, joy in your life and healing in your body and all those good things. I'm uh, covering uh, some material that I am writing and some books that I'm publishing and to giving you ideas about how to get your book uh, written and published. And I was going over uh, and showing you that uh, you get these journals like this, or you know, they could they you can get that other type, you know. But uh, this is one good one with a black uh, black leather cover like that. You need to get something that you really like that feels good in your hand and that that is uh, something that is attractive and that will draw you to it every day. Keep it by your bedstead. I keep one of these in every room, one of them on every shelf in every place. And keep them uh, in every place that you're going to be at, even the kitchen. And uh, I put uh, these stimulating words to get me started on writing my journal every day so I can go through and find a word that I want to write on. And uh, words such as this that describe joy and happiness and and I was showing you how that you uh, would uh, begin by writing uh, some uh, some things such as, you know, you're, if you're looking at the law of attraction, uh, getting started with level of acceptance and level of awareness to, in order to gain the level of attraction, realizing that the infinite mind is within you and asking yourself about what is the importance and the implication and significance of infinite mind toward making a lot of money and having a lot of happiness. Uh, gaining the idea that you can have whatever size house you want, even 10 million, 20 million, whatever. And uh, I was showing you uh, some of the notes and uh, drafts that I had made and the chapter headings and all. And I have this one here, too, that along with some of the others that will make a, a rough draft for a chapter. And uh, maybe with some further development also called the big secret of the universe which gives you an idea about the law of attraction uh, and what takes what it takes to get it and uh hell i don't know that light i guess i don't okay uh, and then i've used these notebooks like this to put it in uh so that i can use these uh protector sheets on them this will hold about 30 to 40 of those protector sheets in each one of these. And you have the, uh, see the snaps there that holds them in. You know how that works, notebook snaps. Uh, and uh, you can keep it together that way. And then you can review over it. Just flip through it every day, you know, along with your journal. And then you want to add, you see things that you want to add more to. Write in your journal, add pages to it, put pages in between. And, uh, but you have this where they stay together so that you can review it for whatever a week, months, or whatever you want to go over to make sure you've got everything there like you want it. And, uh, but this one here, the, se the secret, the big secret of the universe, that's very good. That's, that's like the law of attraction is a big secret of the universe. And uh, to get that, says says the big is your awareness. The, the big secret is that all good and constructive healing form of energy are already right now close to us in our very own breath and attraction, a breath and the consciousness of life. The ability for the level of attraction is is already really within you. You just have to develop it. And you know, there's a lot of stuff said about the law of attraction, and people get confused about it and everything. But it's really a very simple concept, and uh, doesn't take a whole lot to delineate it out. Everything good has been totally and completely provided to us to fully recognize this truth. However, we must begin rejoicing right now with the same conviction, persuasion, and intensity that we would if we just now realize that total healing is complete or as if the total solution to our problems and answer to our prayers has been received in the same way we would if we just located the greatest treasure we could imagine or as we would if we were now at the very gates of heaven we must have a deep understanding not just positive thinking or psychological positioning 
uh, you have to maintain a position of posture uh, for your selling and all like that. But this is a lot more of that. It goes a lot deeper. It goes deeper than the Think and Grow Rich uh, does even. Books like that or, or uh, Magic of Thinking Big. Uh, uh, Magic of Thinking Big. All of those are very good books, but this goes deeper This uh, uh, than what I'm talking about. The right type of understanding and conviction. With the right type of understanding and conviction, we clear the way for complete recognition and awareness of the substance that is already there. You know, it's not uh, just uh, reaching out for substance and learning how to attract it, the substance that is outside of you, but it's also realizing that uh, the substance is actually already within you and just has to be brought out. Yeah, you know, it's in the living water, which Jesus said in, in uh, John seven thirty eight. out of your innermost being would flow the, these... Uh, the living immortal water that without the power to do all things in direct proportion to the degree of our true rejoicing with faith and solid conviction we open the way to the flow of all substance at first this rejoicing you know when you first hear about it it'll seem to be like well uh, how does that work or why do that However, its value is will be revealed as you begin to do it more and more every day. It will be reveal itself. Furthermore, with the more we exercise the principle, the easier it becomes to do, and the clearer we see the truth of this principle. The substance we are praying for is absolutely and completely there now. And must only be uncovered by our conscious mind. Enough rejoicing in faith does this by increasing our overall awareness and enabling us to appropriate the energy and substance we are seeking. With more and more awareness and growing consciousness, we will discover numerous mansions of wealth and substantive reality already present with us and multitudinous streets of gold waiting to serve us. Uh, all things waiting to serve us and uphold us. All fully present now within our soul. Everything's there. You don't have to go anywhere to get it. It's right there. And this does not take an hour or a till away from the, what the Bible speaks about. The mansions, the streets of gold. Everyone will be, have a chance to see heaven and all. And it's not going to take away from that. That uh, What they've been taught about that. It's, uh, it's, uh, but it's going to make them realize that. Glorious things are, e are now already within our soul. And uh, you don't just wait till some later time for all those glorious things. To work these realities out in a way that becomes effective and observable, we must rejoice in faith, knowing that this will reveal healing of our bodies and completing glorious solutions to every problem. We must learn, furthermore, that all good is now ready to flow to us and from us. We learn that everything is, just, is there. It's just our level of acceptance is missing. And so we lose our law of attraction. Romans 8, uh, 32 and John 7, 38 uh, mentions how to get this all started. Uh, knowing that uh, he who would give Jesus Christ has given us all things. John 8, uh, Romans 8, 32 and John 7, 38 out of your most being will flow with the rivers of living water. Uh, they're already there within your inner, will already be there in, within your innermost being. The best way to get this started or speed it up is to rejoice completely right now about everything that we want to see uh, demonstrate or a popular word today is manifest uh, about everything that we want to see manifest or demonstrated and remember to rejoice fully about every healing we wish to have happen. Anything we can rejoice about deeply, fervently, and sincerely enough, we'll actu we will actually experience. James 5.16 But we must rejoice away the doubt that clouds the tr this truth. 1 Thessalonians 5.16.70 We can never add any substance or any true energy or joy or happiness or health to the total reality now completely there and already full of absolute love and inexhaustible good. We must only increase our awareness of it. We do this by developing a pattern of daily and moment by moment rejoicing completely and solidly and substantively as if the demonstration has already happened. The manifestation has already happened. And, 
And it's just as good as already happened because it's only waiting on your recognition. So your manifestation of your dream home, whatever, it's already happened. It's just that you have not accepted it uh, and realized it yet. In this way, we wash out every doubt and shadow through divine joy. John 15, 11, where Jesus left us all joy uh, to use. We have all joy to use. Uh, it's truth. Some of these pages may be in this notebook out of order. But anyway, uh, we never have to add any substance or anything to the total reality now there and already full of absolute love and inexhaustible good. We only have to increase our awareness of it. We do this by developing a pattern of daily and moment by moment rejoicing completely and solidly as if the demonstration has already happened. We wash out every doubt and shadow through the joy of John 15, 11, 7, 38. Developing a pattern of daily and moment by moment rejoicing completely, solidly and substantially as if the demonstration has already happened. In this way, we gradually... Uh, okay, that's a rough draft. It's got to be worked over. All right, and then I have this one. Uh, for another chapter. Unfortunately, it was in red where I was for a couple of days. I was out of the black ink. Persuadiveness gives power for leadership and change. We should daily continue to increase our real power and the flow of our solid influence. We do this by becoming more and more concretely planted in immutable truths and in viable divine principles. That's how to increase your power for leadership. You know, just know where you're coming from and know where your source is and you'll, you'll automatically rise to the top and automatically be a leader. Victory always rests and flows on the side of real divine principle. Uh, divine, real divine principles that never change. See, we can learn those divine principles. This gives constant and sure direction to our inspiration. Turn into your source and all. You get your real inspiration and a perfect channel for the flow of real power. We must stay in the vein until it fully demonstrates far-reaching changes and completely turns all our negative thoughts and reactions into solid and positive ones. All of our most successful presidents, preachers, and business leaders were the ones most convinced of the real wisdom of these truths, that is, the ones who supremely understood the complete inviability and infallibility of the divine principles found in the scriptures. They had very deep convictions. There is a very big difference between believing mentally in the Bible and being solidly convinced that the principles contained within it are completely immutable with no shadow of turning or change possible. If you fully understand what they actually mean, what the spiritual interpretation of them is and all and, and have the real understanding of it, then it's inviolable. Now, you know, a lot, a lot of interpretations are being made that are not inviolable. You know, because they're just interpretation people have made wrongly. But if you really understand it, it is. In Second Timothy first uh, one, Second Timothy one ten, for example, where it says Jesus Christ has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light. Now that's an inviolable principle, and we, it, but we have to reach out and, and accept it uh, and realize it's true. We must become absolutely and demonstrably persuaded of this fact. We must know that death is completely gone and out of the picture. You have to know it for yourself deep down. That it has no control over you anymore. And all of its fear uh, is cleared out of your mind. There, then we will be able to, for example, with patience, uh, to do like the historians have done, like Patrick Henry, and be able to really stand up and, for our rights and say, give me liberty or give me death, and death uh, includes death includes the word death includes all sickness and disease Jesus has totally abolished all the power of holding or causing uh, any and all sickness diseases and death that's a glorious thing to realize this principle this awareness gives us great it gives us great uh, peace and leadership second Timothy 1 12 and B goes on to say, I know in whom I have been believed and am persuaded. We must go from belief to knowing it and on to persuadedness uh, uh, of present and future victories. Romans 8, 38, 39. We shall overcome. And I had developed that even further on in some other places. <laughs> 